Good afternoon, boys and girls, or good morning, shall I say. So in this video, we're going to continue the work we started yesterday in our notes packet. And so right now we are on page something of our note package, the page that looks like this. It's the page that we're on in the note packet. So I just want to start reviewing what we learned yesterday. So remember yesterday we said that the exponential form is y equals b to the x. And we talked about the fact that exponentials are inverses of logs. So to go from exponential to log, we have to exchange the x and the y values. So here we can see that y equals b to the x. The base remains the same in both of them. But notice how the y and the x change. So in these examples, we did a few of these yesterday. Um, so we want to do a couple of more. We're going from log to exponential form. So we're going to transform from log form to exponential form. Which means in the end, our answer should look like this. Okay? All righty. So we're going to start by taking the base because the base remains the same in both of these. So B, our B in both of these would be 16. And then we exchange the 256 and the 2. So we have 16 squared is equal to 256. And again, if you take your calculator and you square 16, you should get 256. All right, so let's look at number three. Again, our base is going to stay the same. I like to highlight that base. So our base is 2. So we're going to write 2, and then we exchange the x and the y. So 2 to the negative 3 equals 1 over 8. And in the fifth one, our base is 20. So the base remains the same. And then we exchange the 2 and the 400. So it becomes 20 squared is equal to 400. Why don't you pause this for a second and do the next three? Okay? All right, welcome back. So we should get 9 squared is equal to 81. 5 squared is equal to 25. And 17 squared is equal to 289. I did not mean to make all of those squared, but you get the point. Okay, so now that we've done this, and this is, this is the notes from yesterday. Now we're going to go the other way around. We're going to go from exponential form to log form. So remember, log form is log b, and then we're going to have, we're going to exchange the x and the y. So this is exponential form. What is our base? Our base is 14. And so the 2 and the 96 are going to exchange places. So we're going to have um, log base 14 of 196 is equal to 2. OK? So our base, what's our base in this next one? It's 12. So we'll have log base 12. And then the 12 and the 1 will exchange places. So log base 12 of 12 equals 1. And then the next one, our base is 2. So we have log base 2. And then we exchange the negative 3 and the 1 eighth. So log base 2 of 1 eighth is equal to negative 3. Again, I'm going to um, want you to pause the video and then do 8, 12, 10, and 14. Okay, welcome back. So you should have gotten log base 3 of 81 equals 4. Log base 36 of 6 is equal to 1 half. And log base 16, why did I say that? I don't know. Somebody help me. Log base 8 of 16 is equal to 4 over 3. Okay? 
So that's how we go from exponential to log and log to exponential. We're going to do a couple of more problems and then you'll do an activity in, um, a, on Google Slides. So we can use our knowledge of exponents to evaluate the logarithm. So look at it this way. We're going to set this equal to x. And then we're going to use guess and check to solve. So my base is 7. So we have 7 to the x is equal to 49. Well, what does x have to be in order to make that true? Then x would have to equal to 2 because 7 squared is 49. In problem 15, notice that it doesn't seem like this have a, has a base, but it's, it does, it's base 10. We call this common log. So if it doesn't sp explicitly say a base, the base is 10. So this would be 10 to the x is equal to 100. So what does x have to be? x have to be 2, because 2 10, 10 squared is 2. So this would be, we're going to set this equal to x. So 2 to the x is equal to 64. And you probably have to play around with that a little bit. Um, we know that 2 cubed is 8. 2 to the 4th is 16. And 2 to the 5th is 32. So 2 to the 6th is 64. Now for this one, we're really going to have to think about it for a second because we have 9 to the x is equal to 1 over 81. Now I think I, I remember telling you that if the exponent is negative, then it goes to the it makes it goes to the bottom. So this would be 1 over 81. Okay, so we know that 9 squared is 81. So if I want it to equal to 1 over 81, then x would have to equal to negative 2. Okay? All right, pause the video and let's see if you can not at least set up 14 through 20. Even if you can't guess the value, at least try to set it up. Okay? All right, welcome back. And if we set this equal to x, we have 3 to the x is equal to 27. Um, 3 times 3 times 3 is 27, so x is equal to 3. Um, we're going to set that equal to x, so we have 12 to the x is equal to 1. And in order for this to equal to 1, x would have to be 0, because anything raised to the 0 power is 1 until you get to calculus, and then it's something else, but we're going to talk about that later. Okay, so this one would be 3 to the x is equal to 243. And again, that just takes a little bit of guess and check. So I know 3 cubed is 27. I know 3 to the 4th is 81. And I think 3 to the 5th, if I multiply that by 3 to 43, so 3 to the 5th is 243. So x is equal to 5. And the last one, we get 64 to the x is equal to 4. Now that's really hard. Um, it's not hard, but you may not readily see that. Uh, but I know this, that 4 cubed is 64. So that means if I want to figure this out, if I took the cube root of both sides, I get the cube root of 64 is equal to 4. So this would be x is equal to the cube root, which would be one-third. Okay? And I know that was a little more challenging, uh, but it's okay. You won't have any like that on the upcoming test, but I did want you to do it. The most important thing for this is to be able to go from log to exponents and from exponents to log. All right, let's practice that a little bit. I want you to do the um, activity in Google Slides, you should go to Google Classroom, click on the link, and um, open the file. And you should be able to modify it. Okay, I will see you later.